Uh, first off, Congressman, can you talk a little about Hyperloop? I know you're on the House Transportation Committee. I mean, really, how far away are we from having this potentially become reality here in Columbus? I, I think we still have a ways to go, Ben, but I, I think we are definitely getting closer. Um, there is a, a center out in the Las Vegas area where we have a piece of the track out there. Uh, Congressman Stivers and, and Congresswoman Beatty and I plan to go out there and, and take a ride on it. Several members of the uh, folks in, in Columbus have already been out there uh, and been exposed to it, but I think it's very realistic, uh, and I think it's the, we're all very excited. And, and what a great way to have a public-private partnership uh, in everything that we're doing right now with the infrastructure in Columbus, Ohio. We've been fortunate enough to have Smart Cities awarded to us. Uh, we have the TRC that's currently going out uh, in, in, the, in the Union County area out near Marysville at the Honda plant, and that's the largest uh, Thomas Vehicle Research Center. They did a big ribbon cutting out there next or last week. So I'm really excited about this, and this is a very exciting project that we have moving forward. Do you anticipate more federal funding potentially being uh, attributed to this uh, Hyperloop project? Anything that, that Washington, D.C. can do to maybe grease the wheels and get this a little bit closer to reality? Um, I think there'll definitely be some help coming for that. But um, again, that's the key part. We have private. Um, it's, it's the Virgin Hyperloop. Uh, so there is private business in it. Uh, and that's what makes it more even worthwhile. And to think that we can be from Columbus to Chicago in 40 minutes, uh, who would have ever thought it? 